Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another spiritual reading. Now before I begin today, I just wanted to let you know that if you are not already on my wait list to receive your own personal spiritual reading, I highly recommend that you click the link in the description at the end of this video and get onto this list, that list because there are some beautiful things coming your way very, very shortly. Um, it's basically a matter of divine timing. The website is 99% finished and there are 50 beautiful souls that are waiting for a spiritual reading and I am so grateful. So thank you so much to each and every one of you that have already joined that wait list. That is truly, truly exciting. To continue with the good news today, I just wanted to let you know that we are so close to hitting 1 million views on this channel. We are so close. So what I would love for you to do at the end of this video is to share it with anyone that needs a little bit of dose of inspiration and help them deal with the energies associated with the Aquarius lunar eclipse. So that would truly help me out. Without further ado, my loves, let's get cracking on to today's reading. We're going to start with my favorite deck of cards, the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. Now we're just going to, um, this is going to be a general reading today. So whatever basically comes into your subconscious at the end of today's reading, that is your divine message, divine download, whatever you want to call it, that is going to help you with whatever is going on with your life. Now we're in eclipse season at the moment, which is so amazing and so exciting. So eclipses are all about um, finishing off a chapter and new beginnings. So it's going to be interesting to see what my beautiful angels are going to give you guys as some guidance for this reading because I am I'm so excited. And shuffling these cards actually was actually just I found it so relaxing and so calming and yeah, it's interesting because every time I do a reading for you, there's always a different energy associated with it. So that's exciting. Anyway, without further ado, let's shuffle these. Okay, angels, can we have one card for clarity for a beautiful MK Love fam to deal with the Aquarius lunar eclipse, which occurs on August 7th or 8th, depending on where you are in the world. And it's also a full moon. One card. Okay. Ooh, our first card is be honest with yourself. Okay, so it says look into the heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and strength and take good care of yourself. Focus upon your true desires and they will come to you upon angels' wings. It kind of like that picture reminds me like you're a little bit hesitant and you're like, oh, uh, like the whole arms crossed against the chest that symbolizes to me it's like you're not I don't know you I feel like you're going upstream be honest with yourself look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation let's get another card from that deck angels can we have clarity on be honest with yourself please The ocean card, oh my goodness. Do you remember last new moon reading? It was all about the ocean. There's something magical and truly beautiful when we are immersed in the energies of mother nature and the ocean, or it could be an Epsom salt bath. It could be um, sitting by a creek or a river or a stream or going for a swim in mother nature, whatever that looks like for you. If you've been following me on Instagram and Instagram stories, you would know that I have been spending a particular amount of time by the ocean to help me deal with um, launching my business and <laughs> my website was just done within a month. I was like, what? Okay, so it says the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near water. 
Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. I just heard that song um, from Human Nature. Um, uh, how does it go? Dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. Every time you cry. I will be your rainbow when you disappear Wash away the pain till you smile again I'll just put a link to the video in the description because it's from an Australian um, band who actually were in Vegas when I was there and they were fabulous Okay My face feels really hot what does that mean, angels? All right, let's move on to the next deck. Archangel Raphael, now this is our healing deck. So we want clarity on be honest with yourself and the ocean. We still don't really know what the message is yet. So let's piece these together. Clarity, please, angels, for my beautiful MK Love fam. Yep, just one card for now, please. Improving health. We got this card again. Yes, my loves. Do you remember a couple of months ago, or maybe it was last week, I'm not too sure, when we got the card when it was like the um, something about nutrition? And we, yeah, this is beautiful. Yay! So your prayer is, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for comforting reassurance about this situation. What I love here. And you see all the beautiful flowers over here that have already come into bloom and he's putting his attention to something that hasn't necessarily flourished yet but it is on its way uh, i heard part of a song but then i lost it no i lost it that's exciting let's go into the numerology i feel like the numerology always gives like the most detailed parts of our story anyway so this is what we've got so far be honest with yourself the ocean and improving health this is good okay this is the numerology deck by michelle buchanan i actually found her on instagram i'm like i've been using your cards michelle i think she's aussie too new zealand kiwi okay angels can we have clarity oh that was quick this one ah again my love spiritual career <laughs> This card has come up so much for you lately. <laughs> That's really, really beautiful. So maybe you guys are all starting businesses around the same time as me. <laughs> That's exciting. That is so exciting. It's like, I really like that one. I like reading what Michelle um, writes in these books because I find she's very, very, very detailed. I've already read this one to you before, but let's just recap. It says, this card indicates an opportunity to embark upon a career in the mind, body, spirit arena. This could be full-time, part-time, venture. It's completely up to you. You may already have the credentials to begin this work now, or you may require further study before you are ready to start. Whatever the situation, this card is confirmation that you have genuine talents and abilities that need to be put to good use. You may decide to work as a clairvoyant, a coach, a homeopath or healer, or see clients from your home. Or try your hand at being a card reader, numerologist or an astrologer at your local mind, body, spirit fair. You may choose to write, to be a writer of inspirational books or blogs or conduct workshops in the community. Regardless of what you do or however big or small the scheme, you can turn it into a career with the potential for success. Only you know when the time is right, but no matter what, you must believe that you will succeed. Remove any limiting beliefs that are preventing you from moving forward. Release your anxieties and trust in the divine. When you fo focus on being of service, rather than your worries, doubts, or fears, the universe will send you opportunities to serve. <laughs> Let's get more clarity. 
feel like this will be a quick reading today, but I say that every time, don't I? Wow, you want to throw it to me? Okie dokie. <gasps> we got the self-love card! We got the self-love card, my loves. Holy good lord, you guys are doing so well and you know that when you vibrate on the frequency of love, you close the gap of resistance and that is when you manifest your heart's true desire. Oh my God, I feel like you're just like, I feel so emotional now because I feel like you, you've, woo, goosebumps everywhere, oh good Lord. I feel like you have been working your butt off for such a long time and you and uh, you've been doing your like daily self-love practices and you know what to do to close the gap of resistance. And I know that some of you have been working bloody hard to forgive people that have done you wrong, to forgive yourself most importantly, because you know, things haven't worked out in the way you had planned because divine timing has a complete different scheme for you. But this is beautiful, my loves. This is, I, I can't even speak. I'm just like feeling such a sense of being so proud of you. I feel like I can see someone giving someone a hug and, and then you're just like bawling your eyes out and you're just like, oh my God. You did it. <laughs> Let's see what Michelle's got to say. Good Lord, it's numerology of seven. You guys are bloody amazing. I didn't even bring water, like waterproof mascara. Oh shit. Okay. She said, this card indicates a need to focus your attention of loving and believing in yourself. By doing this card, you've been encouraged to make your relationship with yourself the number one priority as it is the key to happiness and manifestation of your dreams. Rather than dwell upon the shortcomings, you must accept and embrace who you are because you are fabulous and you know it. Oh, good Lord, this is such good energy. It's now time to start treating yourself like a friend by replacing your negative self-talk posit with positive affirmations. Statements that affirm that you are lovable, you are worthy and perfect just the way you are. It will help raise your vibration and improve your current circumstances. Set aside time and write down the things that you admire about yourself, such as your sense of humor, your smile, or your capacity to love. Every little thing counts. And nothing is insignificant or minor. In order to improve your current situation, you've been asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to love and believe in yourself. Remember, you're an ongoing work of progress and you didn't choose to come here to be the perfect person with the perfect life. Every, did I read that right? You're an ongoing work in progress and you didn't choose to come here to be the perfect person with the perfect life. That is so true. Um, everything in your life is a reflection of what you believe about yourself. So nurture yourself with love. Your affirmation is, I love and believe in myself and I make my dreams come true. What? Oh, then I heard that song. What? I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I knew that I would know. So good. So good. My MK Love fam is da -da -da. It's practicing the love. Good Lord, I never cried in a reading before. Well, not for you guys. <laughs> yeah. That is twice I have looked at the clock and I've seen 444. Okay, it says, be honest with yourself, the ocean, your health is improving, you're embarking upon some type of spiritual career or something to do with the spirituality realm. Self-love is paramount. Let's finish with the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. I don't think I've ever been so excited before. 
Well, in a reading. Pretty happy person. Okay, this one. The Hermit. Ooh, number nine, we got a major arcana. My goodness. Hermit, you need to withdraw within. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. Good Lord, well that just trumped that card too. Yay! If you need help with meditation, I've made a whole chakra meditation series, um, which is going to help you pinpoint whichever area you may need help with. I can't talk because I'm so excited and I'm just like, I feel like a mum letting her kids go on their first day of school and you're just like, you're just so excited for them and you're so like nervous, but you know that they're going to do well. That's how I feel about you guys at the moment. It's magical. This might be a little bit weird, but I just saw the word Bob. Can you see that? Mm, maybe you won't see it because the camera's flipped. B O B. Anyway, this thing here that he's carrying looks like it's in the shape of a heart, which is the heart chakra, which is where self love comes from. So many things are all about love and connection with. Like the first card, it says, look into your heart and you'll know the truth of the situation. And the ocean helps to soothe you. Your health is improving because you're finally going downstream. You are flowing. You're not paddling upstream anymore. Yay, my loves. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, and nine is the completion card. Nine. Now I got tingles everywhere again. Okay. Maybe you just need, maybe you, instead of spending time with friends at the moment, maybe the best thing for you to do is to just like go for a walk at the beach. Go, I know not all of you live near the beach, but just go for a walk somewhere near water. Even if it's like have, <laughs> have an extra long shower or um, I'm sure there's somewhere where you can find water naturally occurring. Okay, let's see what this one says again. This card signals that you'd benefit from spending time alone, listening to your inner voice. Meditation is essential as the path to enlightenment is, as the path to enlightenment is an inner journey. Be silent and experience the joy that comes from seeking the truth of your own heart. Boom, how many times have I heard heart in this reading? Learn to feel comfortable in your own company. After all, there is a difference between being alone and being lonely. This card also signifies spiritual teaching. Good Lord. <gasps> so it can mean that you have wisdom to impart to others or that perhaps it's time for you to find a spiritual teacher. Sharing wisdom is part of your spiritual journey, especially right now. Additional meanings. <sighs> Good advice. Finding or becoming a mentor, self-discovery, re-evaluation of plans, going on a spiritual request. Archangel Azriel offers sage, oh sage. My dog used to be called sage and it just came up to her one year anniversary since she passed. If you've probably seen that on my channel like a year ago when I was like bawling my eyes out again. That's probably the last time I cried on my channel. Um, Archangel Z um, da, 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 da. Um, offers sage advice to spiritual seekers including guidance about esoteric concepts, interpretation of your sleeping dreams and past life memories. Ooh, call upon, um, Raz, how did I say that before? Raziel to help you find the richness that comes from meditation and spending time alone in contemplation. I've been doing that a lot lately and it's making me feel 
like I can cope with whatever life throws me, throws my way. I think that's it. I don't think we need any more cards. Let's just breathe in together and breathe out for four because I feel like these energies are just like super powerful. So just put your shoulders up, back, down, sitting up lovely and straight. Close down the eyes. Breathe in. And out. Let's do it again, ready? Breathe in. And out. I feel pure joy for you, my loves. I feel pure excitement. I feel like you are you are vibrating on the frequency of love 99% of the time. Let's do a recap of the cards, okay? Let's see if that focus. There we go. Be honest with yourself. You are amazing. Yep, we know that. Spend time near the ocean or water, whatever works truly best for you. improving because you are actually paying attention to it maybe we've even gone caffeine free or you've decreased the amount of caffeine that you're taking into your life spiritual career is on the horizon in whatever shape or form that could be that could even be like just learning meditation just like anything to do with the spiritual mind body soul soul realm self-love you vibrate in the frequency of love. You close the gap of the resistance. You manifest your heart's true desires. In order to do that, we just need to spend some time in quiet meditation or whatever that works, whatever that is for you. That could be literally like going surfing. It could literally be like what I did the other day. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd know that I was literally walking at the beach and I was like so overwhelmed because I was trying to write the about section for my website. And I was like, how do you write the about section about yourself? It's like, yeah, I was finding it really challenging. So I was literally walking out the beach and I just heard the word trust. The angels were just like, trust, trust, trust us. And I'm like, what do you want me to do to trust you? I was getting frustrated. So I was like, right, I'll close my eyes. So I closed my eyes and I just started walking. And at first I was like, <gasps> like I had jeans on and I didn't want the water to like, um, to wash. Can you hear that bird? It's trying to get our attention. I don't know what that means, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I just heard trust. So I was like breathing in for four, breathing out for four, and then I'd open my eyes and I was like, is it okay? I'm not running into anyone, am I walking crooked? And I just kept doing that, doing that, and doing that. And that was like my form of meditation. And then before I knew it, I opened my eyes and I was like, how long was I breathing in and out for? And it just felt so good. And then I just spent some time like cleansing all my crystals. And because crystals are really good to cleanse and to see water because I miss the new moon. I just feel so excited for you, my loves. I feel so excited for you. I feel that you are on the right path. I just heard that Lady Gaga song. Um, baby, I was born this way. Baby, I was born this way. I'm on the right track. Baby, I was born this way. Ooh, goosebumps again. You're on the right track, my love. Maybe that's what I'll call this video. You're on the right track. I don't know. What will I call it? I think I'm going to call it you're on the right track. Anyways, my love, I am so proud of you. I'm so excited for you. I cannot wait to hear what comes up for you in your subconscious and comment below um, underneath this video and let me know what came up because that is the most exciting part of what I do. If you would love a private spiritual reading with me, click the link in the description, jump onto my wait list and yeah, it's coming soon. I don't know when I'm going to release it yet. I'm not sure. I'm kind of asking my angels. I'm like, when? Like, do I do it now? Do I wait until after Mercury goes direct, which Mercury goes retrograde from like August 12th to like September 5th. And I'm like, retrograde's on a good time. 
something in September 5th and I'm like, oh, I don't know when I wait that long, I want to do readings now. So I, I don't know, I'm just kind of waiting to hear what comes comes for me. So I'm spending heaps of time in meditation and going to the, the ocean and you know, the universe will guide me and it is guiding you too. Have an amazing day, my love, wherever you are in the world. If you loved this reading, please like it. That helps me get better um, traction on, on YouTube and it helps the algorithm as well. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. We just hit 18,000 beautiful MK love fam. What? Isn't that exciting? I couldn't even imagine speaking to a room of 18,000 people. Isn't that crazy? But isn't that just the most beautiful thing in the whole wide world? And as I was writing about you guys in my about section, just like you know my beautiful MK love fam and the most beautiful spiritual like high vibrational souls and the most loving and forgiving if I ever miss an episode you know you guys are just so beautiful and I just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart I can't thank you enough and I really feel a massive sense of gratitude for you because I never ever thought that I would be reading for you guys, ever. It's crazy when you follow your intuition. I always thought that I'd be like, you know, releasing an, an, um, a plant-based whole foods like recipe ebook for you guys, <laughs> which is like 80% finished on my computer, but I didn't have love for it anymore. So it's kind of just sitting there. But the universe has like led me onto the spiritual quest and the spiritual path and it feels so good. And you know, you just have to go with the flow and what the universe tells you, you just go with it because it always leads you to your highest good. And that my loves is the most beautiful thing in the whole entire world. And that actually leads me to a video that I'm going to film next called, um, planning is good. Allowing is better. That's what I've learned recently. Anyways, my love, I've, I've chatted to you for like 27 minutes now. I just want to say thank you once again. I'm so excited for your journey. Please subscribe. If you want help with meditation, I'll just put my um, chakra meditation playlist on the end. My favorite is by far the, um, the heart chakra, which is almost at 2,000 views. How exciting. I have to leave you because, you know, otherwise I could, I could literally talk to you for hours. And I just wanted to say have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I love you. I love you. I love you. Subscribe, like, and please share this video so we can hit 1 million views. Wow. All right, my loves. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.